So I want to show you guys a quick and easy way on setting up voice meter. Uh, I know I made another video on voice meter potato, but that's more for advanced users. Uh, this is just the plain voice meter, which is all you're going to need if you just want to play music in the mic. So I have the link in the description. So uh, visit the link that I have in, in the description. And once you go there, you're going to want to scroll down. You're going to want to click on install right here. So click on the voice meter exe file one. Now I have it installed already. Um, so once you have it installed or downloaded, you're going to just want to click on the setup right here. Now I have it installed the voice meter, so I'm not going to click on it. So for you, just click on it, click next, um, just go through the whole setup. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to restart your computer. Now, after you do that, after you restart it and it's all installed, you're going to want to open up voice meter. Now, if it's not open already, you could just click the search box and click voice meter. And it's just a plain one. Um, okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to hardware input right here. You're going to want to select your desktop mic. Now, only select the ones with MME, because if you select anything else, you're most likely going to have issues. Uh, so select your desktop mic here. And then for hardware input two, select your digital audio interface. So um, if you have an index, select digital audio interface. If you have a Vive, select your Vive. Whatever your VR mic is, just select that as MME input. So you could also right click that, type in like VR, right click this one, desktop. Um, and then for your hardware out, you're going to want to select your desktop headphones. Now, remember, select MME for that as well. And then for A2, you're going to want to select your VR headphones. Now, if it doesn't show in here, um, you know, open up Steam VR, or whatever your VR is, and uh, it'll pop up under this drop down. So be sure to select MME also for that. Now head over to menu, system settings. Now change preferred main sample rate to 4800 hertz. So just click on it. 40. Okay. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to also select these buttons, how I have them set. Now, now I'm, I'm going to leave this one, one off so you don't hear me twice, but make sure both of the B's are turned on for both of your mics. If you want them both to come through, basically when you have it turned off your mic doesn't play uh so leave those on uh and then for virtual input keep a on so you could hear your music still now from here you're going to want to head over to the search box down here you're going to want to or type in control panel hardware and sound sound now my audio might become choppy with this window open it's a windows bug i think um so you're going to want to select your headphones, click properties, advanced, and be sure to select whichever one for 16 bit 4800 hertz DVD quality to channel. Then click OK. Now we're going to head over to our VR mic properties. And a lot of VR mics won't allow you to change it, but if it does, just make sure it's something that's 16 bit 4800 hertz DVD quality. And then scroll down to voice meter input. Properties, advanced, make sure it's 16 bit 4800 hertz. So, uh, right here, DVD quality. Okay. Now, this, that part's done. And what you're going to want to do after that is head back to the search box, type in sound settings, click enter or click on it. Now, you're going to want to scroll down to app volume and device preferences. You're going to want to scroll down and for me, I'm going to be using Spotify. Now, if you're using Google Chrome or any other app and it doesn't show in here. So if you're Spotify or Chrome or whatever, it doesn't show, you're going to want to play audio through that app once. So you could just play it and then pause it and it'll pop up. Once it pops up, you're going to want to click on this first box that says default and you're going to want to select voice meter input. Now with that selected, um, you're going to want to close that. Now we're going to head over back to VR chat and you're going to want to hit this little audio icon down here, click change. 
and you're going to want to change it to voice meter output. So basically right now I have it set to that. I'm talking in game. You can see that. And then if I want to play music in the mic, all I would do is I would click B right here. And I'm not going to play any music through the mic in this video because I don't want any copyright strikes. But um, all you do is you just play your Spotify. And if you want other people in game to hear it, just select B. So turn B on. Remember, if you have A turned off, you won't hear it. But other people will if B's on. So A is for your own self if you want to hear it. And then B is for if you want other people to hear it. So that's pretty much it. Um... You want to enhance your mic quality also you could just play with these two i normally have it set to about like right here um but that pretty much wraps it up the only other thing i can show you guys is if you head over to your steam vr right here you're gonna want to click this little menu uh click settings audio uh you're gonna want to just select audio output device to headset and then you're gonna want to select audio input device you're gonna want to put it on manual and then select it for voice meter output. That's pretty much it for the video. This also applies to other games as well. So if you have like Valorant or another game, all you want to do is, only thing you change is just make sure that your Valorant mic is set to the audio or the voice meter VIO, which is going to be the same name as this one right here, voice meter output. So. That pretty much wraps it up. If you guys have any questions, uh, be sure to drop it in the comments or I'll have my Discord as well, my server, in the description. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next one.